Next on Martha, the legendary Patti LaBelle. This Grammy winner is accomplished, talented, and entertaining. In the kitchen, she can teach me a thing or two. And in concert, right on this stage. Our stage and stove will be rocking. Then, Martha's holiday hotline is open. Your burning Thanksgiving questions answered. Plus, gather your family and say cheese. We'll show you how to take the perfect picture. Next. Why don't you stop, stop. and look me over? Look me over. I'm by the same girl who you her so. I'm by the same girl. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Good audience. This is fantastic. Well, thanks very much for coming today. It is the day before Thanksgiving. There's so much for all of you to do. I don't know how you're away from your kitchen. Uh, I'm worried because I haven't even done my shopping. And uh, I, hope, I hope we found all the things we needed. I've been looking for odd things, of course, because uh, I always do odd things. But we've been using the garden a lot. Um, I've dug the parsnips. I have the shallots from the garden. I have the garlics. I have, uh, oh, Brussels sprouts are still in the garden. And I'm going to do a lot with Swiss chard because it's just delicious right now. And we have quince from the quince trees. So we're pretty lucky. We've had a great harvest year. And um, we're going to, uh, I was going to have Christ uh, Christmas. I was going to have Thanksgiving at my house. But, um, but instead, um, decided I called a friend at the last minute to invite them over. There's um, five of them. And they said, oh, no, 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 you come to our house. So they're around the corner, and I didn't want to go driving anywhere this Thanksgiving. I really wanted to hang around the house. Um, and so we're all going over to their house, and we're all going to be cooking together and having a great time. I can remember one Thanksgiving when we taped a special for PBS way back in 1986. And I did a lot of really unusual preparations for Thanksgiving dinner, like making turkey and puff pastry. I don't know if any of you remember that fantastic tape that I did in 1986. It was on, P on uh, PBS. Uh, well, this is just, uh, we found it uh, a couple of days ago. Take a look at this one little portion. Smoked turkey is a delicious hors d'oeuvre on crackers with gamay grape jelly. These four or five pound turkey breasts have been poached for 40 minutes. That way they'll be pretty much cooked by the time they come out of this smokehouse. Brother George built this for me three years ago, and it's been a lot of fun experimenting with smoking meats. The turkeys are in an old rack with lots of fresh sage around to give added flavor during the smoking process. They should stay in here at least four hours. There's a rack up here, and I'm just sliding the tray right on top of the rack. Ooh, really smoky in there. When you close the door, those flames just sort of go away and turn into smoke. It's locked, and I'm going to keep these in here overnight. By tomorrow morning, they'll be absolutely perfect. <laughs> well, it, lo it looks so romantic, and the smoke just pouring out under Well, um, my um, assistant had actually built a rather raging fire. And I was just trying to be nice to the camera. So uh, the minute I closed the door and ran away, we tried to get the hose. The, ho the house was all on fire inside, as you couldn't see. <laughs> and it's not supposed to have all that smoke coming out of the roof at all. And, uh, and we, we ran, got the hose from the nearest spigot. And the hose was just short enough so that the water just didn't reach. You know, one of those things, oh, it was a nightmare. So the whole little house burned down, and, and we had to fake the, fake the breast. We don't like to ever, ever, ever do that. But oh, I, I just tell you, things like that do happen, and, uh, and it's more, more in control now, a little bit more in control. But that was a wonderful, wonderful time making that first television special. Now, some of you in the audience have some pertinent questions that you need answered before the big day. 
tomorrow. So I'll be answering your questions throughout the show. Oh, and I actually do have a caller, too. And we've already asked the callers what they want so that I would be prepared. I don't like to get a call when it's this close to the final hour. So Tammy Duvall is on the line right now. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Martha. What are you doing for Thanksgiving? Oh, there's about 20 of us. There's going to be about 20 of us coming. They're coming. Oh, I'm so excited to talk to you. I can't believe I'm talking to Martha Stewart. <laughs> Thanks so much for is that all you? Well, you just want to chat or do you have a question? <laughs> oh, I have a question. I have a question. I was just wondering what some dishes that I could make today to make things easier for tomorrow. Oh, little so uh, some uh, side dishes or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you actually could uh, like peel your, oh, I'm making something today that I think you will love. And uh -huh. it's, a, it's a pear parsnip puree. Oh. Do you like parsnips? Yes. Okay. Well, if you mix them with pears, you hardly need any butter. You, hard, you don't need any cream. It's really a delicious dish. So you could peel and cook your parsnips. Uh -huh. You could add your pears and you'll see, I'll do the whole thing on the show. So you want to wait for that one? Oh, yes. Okay. Then you can get your, uh, are you going to have Brussels sprouts? Uh, no, I hadn't planned to, but I tell you, I have a little bit of everything, so I'll watch your show and I'll see what I can make. <laughs> well, we're not going to do the Brussels sprouts on the show, but, um, oh, okay. but if you could get those ready today, too, uh, okay. you know, put the little X in the bottom, trim them, put the little X in the bottom. You can pre-boil them today, just get them bright green, and then tomorrow you can cut them in half and just saute them in either duck fat or butter uh, and get them uh, beautifully browned. It's a delicious recipe and uh, a little salt and pepper and really doesn't take much more than that. So that's a very almost instantaneous uh, side dish. It sounds good. I had tried deviled eggs before and it didn't work because the next morning they were like watery on the bottom. Oh, oh yeah. Well, it's uh, do it this <laughs> way and it will work very nicely. Well, watch, watch, and Patty LaBelle is going to do a delicious greens uh, dish, too, that you might like. Okay. Okay? Oh, well, thanks Th so much for taking my call. I oh, just well, love everything so much, you do. Good, good luck with your turkey. Thank you. I'm so, so this is fun. I'm so excited. We don't have any time for another caller, but I'm so excited about our first guest today. I'd like to introduce her right away. She's been delighting fans with her wonderful music for over 45 years, believe it or not. And I'm so excited to meet her because she also does love to cook. Please welcome Grammy Award winner, Patti LaBelle. I nice. must say, you. I saw Patty coming into the building before in her beautiful coat and her yes. wonderful entourage, and oh, you look gosh. a lot better than this. Oh, let me see. Oh, no, you don't. They said you had some hair pictures. That's the one you had. Yeah. What is this, that? That was what I was. What is that? That's my, that's like, we used to call I this, mean, you're uh, beautiful, but, but that hair is. You know what the hair is? No. Honey? It was something that the fans needed. They needed it. They wanted me to be outrageous, and oh, okay. so I did it for them. Now this hair is in a suitcase on my third floor. <laughs> <laughs> but it used to, we called it the bucket. And the you bucket. Used, we used to put food in it. Well, you know, I, like I was, chicken legs and stuff. I call it bucket and shuck it. <laughs> and just shuck it. Where are you trying to diss me, girl? She's trying to diss my own hair. No, no, That's it's funny. The way I no, used it's to very look. funny. I, but I it's mean, fun. I know, I know. You're, you're, you know, you're... I am one of those people who will please you. You, like the audience, you, see, you have pleased us for, I can't uh, believe it, 45 years. Thank you. I, I would really have fans and say, please, Miss LaBelle, please put the bucket back on. I said, honey, I'm <laughs> through with that. I'm finished with that. It's over. You know, I'm trying to be cool. You well, know. you carry with you. You know, when Patty goes on tour, uh, do, you, do you go on a big bus kind of thing? Yeah, I'm yeah. afraid of flying. So oh, you I are? fly as little as possible. So we travel by bus. Has anybody told you that flying is safer than buses? I don't Have know they told you that? No. Oh, it's uh -uh. much, much safer. Really? Yeah. It is. I'm not kidding. I'm not dissing Mark, you. I'm a punk. I don't, I don't like to but, fly, but I have to. Uh, but when I don't, you know what I do, right? Yeah, but she, she takes electric frying pans and, and iron frying pans, cast and iron. And all of my seasonings. Fantastic. And a, and a big trunk. And you cook for everybody? And I cook for the crew. I cook for my band. Oh, that's so I nice. I cook for anybody who's backstage, because so, if, if I'm in a city for a week, Right. Like I'll have my pots and pans because yeah. room service sucks sometimes. Oh, it does. You know? it does. So, <laughs> tell I'm not me, trying tell to spend all that money for that nasty Where food. Where did you learn how to cook? I learned from my uh, grandmother, my mother, my father, 
my aunt Naomi, who actually wasn't an aunt, but she lived with us when we were growing up, and she made the best fried corn, the mm. fresh fried corn. You <gasps> cut it off and then you cream it, yeah. and then you put a little butter and cream and a little salt and pepper, and you cook it for like 10 minutes, yeah. because corn and is not done. something that you cook too long. Right. Honey, that will make you want to slap yourself, the corn. <laughs> and then my, my, my father would make the best potato salad, and my mother made the best macaroni and cheese. My grandmother, Ellen, that's who we're doing the uh, Screaming oh. Greens. Oh, see, Screaming oh, Greens. Oh, honey, let me tell you something. My uh, guys, some of the crew you saw with me today, yeah. they're my they hairdresser, call, they makeup, call and my for that, friends, huh? my manager. They had my greens last Who's night. Who's your jeweler? Look at this oh. bling that she has. This oh, bling, my this gosh. Like look at this <laughs> ring. And look at your earrings. This is stuff that I've, I've worked for oh, for years. You're, um, you're beautiful. I, I buy myself from Lorraine Swartz it and, looks and um, Diane Byfeld. But oh. I've been treating myself all my life. I deserve Good. these things. You Good. Know, these are patty things. <laughs> and my, my grandmother, who taught me how to make the greens, would be very proud of me because I am a girl who takes after, you know, her. You know, yeah. take care of yourself, girl. Always make yourself look pretty. Yeah, well, you look okay. really pretty. As pretty now, as you can. What uh, performers have you cooked for you? I mean, you've cooked oh, for I've your cooked... crew, but what about... Oh, yes, Elton John. Oh, yes? Used to be Reggie White. Uh, Reggie Dwight, or whatever his name was back in Reggie the day. Reggie Dwight, I think. Dwight. Yeah. And 40 years ago, he was my piano player. Oh, my God. So aren't you they had lucky? no money. Ugh. I would play cards and win all of their money and then invite them to my <laughs> flat in London, honest to God, and feed them all. And they were so hungry and they said, Well, Patty, the food is so good. Can we take some home, love? I said, Okay, love, as long as you bring my Tupperware back. <laughs> never, I, never. I've brought... never seen the Tupperware from Elton, but I see Elton a lot. Know what he gave me? No. Diamond ring <gasps> and a ne diamond necklace. That I said, one? I, no, not this one. It's oh. in the back. <laughs> But he gave me the rings. I'll cook for Elton any time. <laughs> he did. He's just that sweet. And so someone from Tupperware heard about the Tupperware story. They sent me a $3,000 gift certificate oh, to buy any Tupperware that I want. With well, the because they pots. like Patty LaBelle they like talking Patty. about Tupperware. Talking about Tupperware. And it's great stuff. Oh, it's great. Oh, it's the best. And I did also, I cook for the Rolling Stones. When they come to Philadelphia, they'll call me and Elton John and anybody who needs a meal if I'm home. Oh. So I'm just that girl. Oh, well, and when I come to Philadelphia, will you cook for me? Oh, girl, any day. <laughs> Would you really? Yes. Okay. When we come back, Patty's going to show us how to make your screaming mean green. Just in time for Thanksgiving. Don't go away. Coming up, Martha and Patty answer some viewers' emails about Thanksgiving. And later in the show, Patty LaBelle sings a tribute to her friend, the late Luther Vandross. The Grammy, the Oscar, the concert. That is just amazing. Friday on Martha, Carly Simon and her kids perform an all-time classic hit. How great for the upcoming holidays. This is very good to cook by. <laughs> then, Martha and Carly perform an all-time classic craft. Find out what it is. Plus, Carly, what's your favorite place in L.A.? Guess what? You or Michael Wright is there. I am the luckiest man alive. Yes. <laughs> Tour Hollywood's hottest spots. Friday on Martha. Bell. Now, Patty just told me that she wasn't going to cook for Thanksgiving, but because she's here and seeing all this good stuff seeing going Martha on. Seeing Martha and her kitchen and her people and everybody, you've given me a different spirit. I've lost a lot of people this past month to cancer and to oh, different things. Awful. So I'm kind of depressed, but I realize that I'm blessed to be here and I'm blessed to still be talking. So I'm going to cook. be cooking. Yes, I'm right. Cook. So Patty I'm said she's going to show us uh, one of her famous side dishes. It's called Screamin' mean greens. Who taught you this recipe? My grandmother and my mother, really, yeah. but um, I add it. <laughs> so it's not what they had at the beginning. I've added on and on and on to what they gave me at the beginning. So, so we, we, we heated okay. up this big pot Girl, for you. Girl, watch it for my hair. <laughs> 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 I like this. This is good because no, this, this is the way you get, white white girls. Girls. you get a facial. You get a facial. So it's good for white girls, no, but not, not for, not not for black, black girls? Girl okay. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so we, do we put the meat first in first? Put it, put okay. The meat in. Put the uh, onions. I'm gonna put those in later. Okay. What? So first, the one in a and a half pound smoked, smoked turkey. Uh, turkey wing. It could be a wing or leg. Okay. Okay. It doesn't have to be a wing. Any of the spices? I'm gonna put the uh, put some onions in now. Okay. Because I want not all of them. Not just all. Some. Okay. Some. That many? Uh huh. Look then her. we're gonna See, put. See, I some. don't care at all. Those are hot. Be oh, careful. Jalapenos. Bro. The whole yes. thing. Yes. Two of them. No half. Half. And then we're going to mix them in. You know, as okay. you layer the greens, you're going to mix oh, them in. Oh, okay. 
Then salt you can pepper. put some of that sea salt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love sea salt. Do you? So do I. Oh, yes. And last night, pepper. last I keep little bowls of this, all about 10 different bowls of all the different kinds of salt that I collect all over my, on my trips. Oh, really? Do you buy it on your trips? Heck no. Oh, wow. Uh-uh, okay. I buy hot sauce. <laughs> I buy hot sauce. I buy hot sauce do everywhere, you? too. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, never get the sea salt. Oh, but I'm yeah. going to come to your house and see how you oh, lay yes. out. And then uh, Lowry season the, salt. Well, we're not giving oh. them a plug. How many? But it is. But everybody uses this. I know, I do. Yeah, oh, I'll give them a plug. Down, at, Al down at Alderson? Season salt. La Alderson, big thing. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, put that in. And what about the vegetable then, oil? Wait. Okay. Put some of these. Okay, now. Can I touch? Yes. That's I didn't yours. wash my hands, though. Okay, wash them. Oh. Here, over there. Give There's me another a... sink right over there. Okay. So, I, so Mark, I should your just hands are clean, so start, start layering these greens in. in. Yeah, put some greens in. So five thing I hate pounds is a dirty cook. of assorted Ugh. greens. And so there's yeah, mustard, put some in. there's kale, kale there's um, collards, and there's uh, other kind of kale. But you know what? I'm not going to use the collards today. Just We're okay. going to use the mustards, turnips, and the, uh, okay. the other one. Okay. okay. Now, Ooh, now what? a little baby one. Go. Now okay, what? now put some more onions in. Okay. Okay, we actually put everything back okay. in, all of it. All of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if we had another turkey leg or a wing, we would put it on mm. top. But can we use that turkey meat? Yeah, you want to? Yeah. Okay, we'll put that in. Cute. Now, put some more everything in. Same all thing. All the jalapenos. It's very easy, you guys. So it's, get it's, these cookbooks it's and improvise, you'll see. improvise, improvise. Tell them, Martha, to get a the A little more Lowry salt. Oh, I am. It's, it's called Patty, Patty LaBelle, LaBelle Light Cuisine and Patty For LaBelle diabetes. La Belle. Okay. We need some more of that. Salt. Yes. We need some more greens. Now we need some, a little more water and add the oil. Okay, so we'll add the oil. Yep, and we'll get, let me, I'll get you some water. Oh, here. Pass me. Here, right there's, and we have to put more greens, well, right? Well, you know what, this is. More greens? We need yeah, five baby. pounds. Uh -huh. We need, you so know nice what they do, they cook baby. down like spinach. You know, you put a whole bag of spinach in a yeah. pot and you oh. have this much? Oh, yeah. That's how this is. Okay. So, so they'll turn cook that down. on. Turn bring, it on. Bring it to a boil and then yes. simmer it for how long? Oh, God. I you know how long I really cook greens? 30 freaking minutes. Oh, really? That's uh, people, all? Yeah, because people overcook uh, vegetables. Yeah. We black people, we cook them until like, what, the next week? Here, look. <laughs> Don't cook them long. <laughs> Just cook them for 30 minutes on a nice temperature. They will uh, cook and look. Look at that turkey Girl, wing. Girl, that wing, that's going to be and my this take looks home. See, I'm driving back to Philly today. This, this will be my so good. dinner. You can take this whole, oh. whole pot. No, I'll leave you some, baby. Okay. But then I will mm. put more flakes of peppers or something really hot, like a scotch bonnet to oh, make them like. Oh, I love mm. scotch bonnets, Do you? too. Yes. Oh, so you're a hot dog. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I like hot things. Okay, so cut then, it. So then you have to just, we have to cut cool it. this off a little bit, right? Yeah, or ghetto. Yeah. Just be ghetto and eat it like it is. Oh. Okay? <laughs> cut it right there. <laughs> yeah, so great. Hot. But should we, sh should we shred the meat and put it back in there? That's what I would do. It's, or you just chew easier. on the bone. No, Which part do you like? I like this part, oh, okay. I like but this it's part. easier with uh, a, a turkey leg. Yeah. Oh, Martha, cut this for me. Okay. It's too hot for me to pull it. I know, it's very, very hot. Oh, the greens are good. Mm, see, my kitchen's pretty good in there, Wes, yes. Angie, and the I've rest I've done of some TV shows, honey, and the pre-cooks, the people before I came on had cooked the food. I said, I'm not claiming this. Oh. And don't let, don't let the audience taste it so because our, it didn't taste good. Our first caller, do you Who see this how food? good this is? Oh. And if Patty says it's good, it's... So it's you want to taste? Good. Somebody mm. has to taste. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. 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 So you just shred this in. Do you put mm -hmm. the skin in too? I do. I give the skin to my dogs. Oh, you do? Okay. Mm -hmm. I, go I don't do skin. Now, who's your, who's your dogs? Rain, uh, Bolo. Ooh, so hot. Uh, Bianca, Chi, Moa G. How many? Well, I just have two now. My neighbors made me get rid of Wait, six. No. I'm so... <laughs> So I only have two now, rain and below. Mm, but this is delicious. My neighbors didn't make me do a God said, Patty, you just need two dogs. So I got two dogs now. <laughs> Go I'll tell you back, about it later. I'll be showing Patty one of my favorite side dishes for Thanksgiving. This is a new one. This is fabulous. Coming up, Martha shows you how to take the perfect picture. And later, a performance from music legend Patty LaBelle. Back. I'm here with Patty LaBelle, and we're having fun in the kitchen. Yes. I'm going to show her now uh, one of my very simple side dishes. Okay. I love parsnips and I love purees. Okay. I like baby food. You do? Yeah, it's funny. Oh, girl, give me you something. You don't like to chew. baby food? No, give oh. me something to chew. Well, you'll like this because it's tasty. It's tasty. It is. It's tasty. And, and it goes swallow. along with those. Those. Uh, you can just put 
Yeah, well, it's very nice with the greens, and okay. it's also very nice with turkey wings. Oh, okay. And yeah, it's, it's good. So I'm just peeling the parsnip, and uh, you, could, you could peel that one for me, and cutting it up into equal-sized pieces, say, say about inch pieces. Uh, and these should all cook in uh, water to cover um, just until they are tender. It takes about maybe 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah. So I'm just I don't have to worry about that steam on my hair, right? <laughs> <laughs> you got that one, girl. I'm not it's looking fucking good. It's all curling up. Your hair, you should see. You should see. It's, it's like all like flip, right? Okay. Well, it doesn't look like and that it other thing. It's out like a flip. It doesn't look like that. I'm bucket. trying to stay cute, honey. No, we don't have the bucket anymore. Martha, I told you we threw that away. <laughs> Bad bucket. The bucket's so gone. that's good. And okay. then get your pears ready too. This takes 20 minutes. And okay. yeah, just take the ends off and cut it up into pieces. You're doing mm -hmm. you're doing a great job. And uh, when this is nice, nice, nice and tender, honey. Oh, don't you love that? Yes. Yeah, that's a good one. That's Ooh, watch it, y'all. Wuss cough. Okay, now, yeah, just, can I just do this? Yeah, yeah, and just throw them in here. And then she knows, at least she knows how to use a knife. Boy, oh, you're good. Oh, you better watch you me. You are good. Okay, I can use a knife. So um, now we're going to drain the uh, parsnips. Once the parsnips are tender, after 20 minutes or so, mm -hmm. add your pears. Two pears cut up, and this pear, this is a comis pear. They're very delicious right now. Comis? Comis. Comis. Yeah, so C-O-M-I-C-E. Okay. -E. Yep, so they'll throw those in there. Okay. But see, I'm cutting this way, and so, so as not to waste. Oh, you're scooping. Waste. I'm just using a melon baller to take the pits out. Well, I said it's a scooper, so Martha, say it's a scooper. It's a scooper, a melon okay. ball scooper. It's a scooper, okay? Yeah. Looks like a scooper yeah. to me. Yeah, it's just a melon baller. I like and, that. And uh, see, that takes everything out without wasting any of the pear. See, you're pear. so good. I thought I was going to take your place at one time. Oh, well, yeah, you were going to... Back in the day when you were... You I had, had to, to go, go away. away. Yeah. <laughs> I said so, I will be the next Martha Stewart. So... Hey. No. Why did you call? Why did you call? Because can, I'm not as good as you. You're you're oh. very precise and everything. Well, I'm you... just a ghetto girl. But I thought <laughs> I was going to take your place. But then she comes out shining. Thank God uh, she did. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. So once you get your pears all cut up, then they, uh -huh. then they sit in the water with the turnip. So you put the pears think, in this? Yeah, with the parsnips. Not, okay. But we already have them in there. I'm just going to need a scoop here. Okay, do your thing. And uh, Oh, those greens were so good. We'll get this. Out of the water. See, everything's going to now be pureed, and it's really, really tasty. I'm learning today. Okay. Yeah, this is. I make I'm carrot. I do this for Thanksgiving. I make carrot puree. You oh, can you take do? this home. Just take the whole. Guess thing what? Home. She told me I could take the green. You can take home. home. How many people? Dinner. I have probably, probably about probably, thirty. You can probably get about. Well, I'll we might get be able like to give you three out. quarts. Give me some more. You okay. have stuff in the kitchen. I'll take home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shopping too much. Okay. It's Mark hard. It's hard to. It's hard to shop. I well, I don't you do know. it. Thank God, my friend Joyce does it. Oh, for she me. does. Yes. Okay. Yes. Because when I go into a supermarket, or can you to, imagine uh, one of the farmers markets, Miss Lavelle? What are you doing in here? I'm yeah. trying to get my groceries, just like you. So boo. I'm pureeing this right now. Crazy. So how's you your TV on? show? Oh, my TV one. It's called Living It Up with Patty Lavelle, and it's doing really well. Oh, I'm so. And happy. then I did a UPN special. Uh, oh yes. And it was the highest rated of the year. Uh, two oh. weeks ago. Yeah. It was. Um, my 45th year in the business, that is and, and we, we did it when was that? in the Bahamas. We did it about a month ago. It aired about two weeks ago. Fantastic. And I've been 45 years paying my dues, honey, just doing my thing, still well. wearing wigs and all that stuff, still being cute. <laughs> and you know what? I am blessed to be on your show today. Well, I mean, this is I'm like blessed. another extension. It's nice to get to know because you, Because they too. said that Martha Stewart weren't you on your show. I said, yeah, right. And you did. Oh, I because Martha absolutely. told me that she loves my voice. That's the I do. Girl. I love your voice. I love your songs. I love all of that. Thank now you look so how much. good this is. This so you add a little so bit. Good. This is now, tasty. This is what? Wait, this is this the puree is the... of the pear and the uh, parsnip. A little oh, salt. Oh, and you put a little sea salt in there too. A little, a little, yes, and a little bit of chive and oh, lots of taste. butter. Not too much butter, but I, this is about three girl, tablespoons girl, of butter. I would do a lot of butter. Yeah, well, you Although can, I can't but eat you don't it need, because you don't, I'm diabetic. I know, you don't need but too much. But I will put it in for my company. Yep. But now wait, you're going to taste this. Give me a... Here, I'm going to give you a little bit. Give me a... There is a, a little a bit. Fork or something. And uh, while you're pureeing, by the way, use the same cooking water in the puree so that you don't waste... Um, She's such a cool kid. Any of it. Look at the way she does it. Okay, so you taste She's that and tell, so me, tell me what you think. A perfectionist. I know, are. I'm going to love it. I'm serious. What do you think? Tastes like sweet potato pie. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And it's extremely it's healthy. Excellent. Good. Oh, 
That's another side dish. When we come back, Patty and I will answer some more of your questions about Thanksgiving. Isn't that good? Still to come, something everyone needs to know, how to take the perfect picture. And later, Martha has another good thing to show you. The year was 1959. Martha Stewart. Ike Eisenhower was the president. Elvis was the king. This is your life. <laughs> With a host of surprises from Access Hollywood's Billy Bush. I've been sworn to secrecy. <laughs> and starring Martha's hometown. Hello, Nutley. Meet her classmates, her teachers, even her prom date. I've seen you in a compromising state. Uh-oh. And I've got the tape to prove. Martha's surprise hometown reunion. My big regret is that I never had a chance to dance with you. Monday on Martha. Chatting like girls, and she's saying uh, that she thought she would be bored to death on this show. <laughs> I did. When I was told that Martha wanted me on her show, I said, "Are you sure?" <laughs> so then I said, "What am I going to do?" I said, "I'm going to be bored." <laughs> and then I realized that she is such an uplifting person. That's why I want to do Thanksgiving now because of you meeting Good. you for the first Good. time. You're a wonderful spirit. <laughs> She's cool. I, I mean, am I, cool. I, I no, I'm I a cool. I'm be cool. like laid back and like really like. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. And that's what you, you, you read, got all my dear. ghetto jokes and, no, and everything. No, that's I'm what an I, expert in the ghetto. You're a, you're a ghetto girl. <laughs> okay. Total <laughs> expert. <laughs> Like She's the bomb. We can like get into so that much. kind of talk, too, you know. Yeah, all right. She's mm. the bomb. You know that stuff, huh? Mm -hmm. Everything. Well, I can say that your parsnips <laughs> taste like sweet potatoes, and I'm taking them home also. Good, good, good. Wes. Make Wes sure you Wes make my doggy box. Wait, you see what Wes is packing up. Well, we have to take a few more last-minute Thanksgiving is, questions. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So right now we have uh, someone preparing. Virginia Mattis. Hi, Virginia. Hello, Martha. How are you doing today? Just well. How do you say your last name? Mattis. Oh, I did. I said it right. Okay. What do you? What are you <laughs> doing right. for Thanksgiving? I should say. Well, usually I have to work, and my husband goes to his family. But this year, I don't have to worry about working, and my husband has to work before and after. So we're going to kind of do a little special Thanksgiving here at home. Oh, that's nice. Just so, the two of you. Yeah, just the two of us and our dogs, of course. But um, <laughs> I um, heard you talk on your show about uh, cranberry glazed turkey, and I was wondering if there was a way to apply this recipe to just a turkey breast since it's just going to oh, be the two of us. Absolutely. Get yourself a nice plump turkey breast and uh, roast it, um, you know, the, probably about 18 minutes a pound and uh -huh. glaze, it, glaze it with that same cranberry glaze. I think I did it with uh, Jennifer Garner on the show. And do you, yeah. have a, do you have the web? Can you get on the web onto our MarthaStewart.com? Definitely. Okay, so the recipe's right there, posted for your use. And uh, have a very nice holiday. Just glaze it while it's roasting. Oh, wonderful. Thank you so Good. much. Good. We have Kendra Burton on the phone right now. Hi, Kendra. Where are you? Good. Hi, Martha. Hi, Patty. How are you? Where are you, Hi, call where are you calling from? I'm calling from Camas, Washington. Oh, great. Well, what, what are you doing okay. for Thanksgiving? Well, we're headed up to my sister-in-law's. Um, she just lives a mile from us. And this year, I am in charge of the turkey, the mashed potatoes, the gravy, and sweet potato souffle. Boy, you Ooh. got you got uh, heavy heavy end of the uh, duty there, didn't you? I know, and that's <laughs> even with splitting it all up. So, <laughs> so what, I have what? a question. My husband is the mashed potato connoisseur of the world, and he ensures that the mashed potatoes are going to be there every Thanksgiving. But in all my last-minute preparations, my mashed potatoes end up cold and gummy. Is there some way I can pre prevent that from happening or a good way to keep them warm? Oh. I think she should make them very late. Yeah. You well, know, I, I can, close to dinner time. Yeah, you can make them close to dinner time. Or this is what I would do. What would you do, baby? I would boil the potatoes, and I would put them through a ricer, or I would mash them with salt, pepper, and some butter, and then I would put them My in a girl. container. And cream? No, not yet. Then, uh, then when they get there, you then get the put them oh, in a metal bowl over some boiling water or simmering water, okay? okay. Then add, okay. Your, add your cream cheese, add your heavy cream. Right, girl. Add your salt and pepper. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, then it'll be, go. they'll be just fine. They'll just that, that sounds is a great. problem. That yeah. sounds great. Yeah, yeah it, it is. is. I have a they question do for Patty. What, baby? Um, does she have any favorite music suggestions to set the mood for Thanksgiving dinner? Sure. 
<laughs> try Seal. I want to know. I want to know, Try too. Seal. <gasps> try Marvin Seal. Gaye. Try mm. Luther Vandross. I love Luther Try, um, try those. Okay. Okay, okay that's what he got. Oh. Okay. And try Bonnie Raitt. Try Bonnie Raitt. Okay? Perfect. Bonnie Raitt okay. for sure, for sure. Yeah. And then a little Al Green in the mix. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> and don't forget yes. Patty LaBelle. Okay. I don't want to add me, but they can. Oh, I'm adding you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks happy. to all our callers and happy Thanksgiving to everybody to out everyone. there. <laughs> so great. Patty, Wes. Wes put together uh, food for Patty. No, she's. I don't believe you have a doggy bag for me. You have a doggy oh, bag? Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh you we even got a pineapple. pineapple. Turkey, Turkey wings. wings. I don't have to show All the these. greens washed and picked over. Thank the hardest you. part is done. You're my parsnip. And your parsnip puree. Oh. Yum, yum, Girl, yum. Instead of you doing the uh, sweet potatoes, you should do the parsnip and the pears. They're cute. <laughs> Trust me. Thanks, Martha. Coming up later in the show, a performance by Patti LaBelle. Stay with us. Up next, you'll learn how to take a perfect picture with photographer William Abranowitz. And later, a good thing you won't want to miss. Ferb location. I'm here with Samantha Joyce and Robert Meyer. Uh, Samantha, who watches us on WVTM in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, wrote us a letter asking us, us, for help with her mom's photography skills. Take a look at this. Martha, my mother loves taking pictures, but she just needs help. Here's Bernadette Peters. That man without a head is my brother. I was so excited to have my picture taken with Dan Quayle. That's me behind the elbow. And she doesn't do so well with grandchildren either. There's her finger. Martha, my mom really needs some help with her snapshots. <laughs> so we've decided, uh, because of this, uh, this really great letter, um, that number 13 on our list of 30 things that everyone should know how to do to make life better is how to take a perfect picture. And Thanksgiving time is a perfect time to capture great family moments. So Samantha, you let your mom take those pictures yes. and uh, you didn't get what you wanted. Um, not, yes, not, to say not the least, often. yes. Um, <laughs> and, and mom just told me that she would rather be on the show doing something that she does well than something <laughs> she doesn't do so well. But actually, really, Joyce, you can uh, learn something because we have a fantastic photographer with us today, Bill Abronowitz, world-renowned photographer who has been shooting covers and features for Martha Stewart Living Magazine ever since its inception. Now, let me just show you a couple. Bill took that picture, and I love that picture. He took this picture, which I also love. He took this great cover of me. And he took this one just this past September. And he also took the wreaths cover. And he also did this entire fabulous book called The Greek File, all of his wonderful uh, Greek photo uh, photographs. Uh, he's just like the best. And uh, we're, we have him right over here. And we're going to walk over and learn from him. Come on over. <laughs> Well, I'm so glad you came. <laughs> so, so Bill's going to um, tell us what he thinks Joyce is doing wrong. Uh, the, the first thing is that you're probably getting nervous because you're meeting these celebrities. So I'm going to encourage you with all of these photographs just to simply take a deep breath, let it out, <laughs> and then take the photograph. <laughs> with every camera comes a manual. So read the manual. And we're going to show you how to do some photographs on a very simple camera. But the manual is something you can sit down with and uh, study in an hour or certainly in, a, in an evening. And the troubleshooting guide will help you with a and, lot and of the solutions. And this little HP camera is it's a pretty good little camera. It's a pretty I yeah. just put my memory stick in, and I was practicing with this one this morning. Right. And it's, it's got a big screen on the back to see things easily. And, in, and it has help that will appear on the screen. So with each function, with each button, oh you'll be able to learn what you're doing as you go. Okay. So, um, so what are some tips? We so some some of the, besides some of the taking tips, the deep breath. Some of the tips <laughs> that uh, I'm going to encourage you to pay attention to is to learn about a little bit about composition. These are some photographs that I took of my kids um, to imagine that there's a crosshair through the photograph and mm -hmm. compose that's in quadrants yeah. or in pieces rather than dealing with the whole thing. So that's nice because you have 
the water and the sky just cutting the picture in half. In half and, and then he dividing is, it a little bit more. Right, he's right there. Or to do it into thirds mm -hmm. is also another okay. thing. Oh, beautiful. That's and a beautiful picture. Yeah. Then to also to learn how to let things just happen. Don't try to force the, the subject. I mean, there's a lot of times where you're just going to pose your subjects, but if you're photographing kids or animals, just let it happen. You know, feel free to move around. I love this. I'm, where were you? Uh, this is in uh, Greece, on Patmos. Gorgeous. Thank you. Those are really my kids, beautiful. and I, you couldn't have set it up. So, no. and then the the last photograph that I have is our our Christmas card. I, so the Christmas card that we do each year is something that happens on vacation. Um, so that's this year's card. That's great. Yeah, beautiful and silhouette. So you don't even, but you know who they are. But he's I'm, doing it intentionally. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> that's a very good point, Robert. <laughs> So why don't we come on down, okay. Martha, okay, we're, we're going to set up a little snapshot. Martha, why don't you okay. sit, come on on this side, and Robert go behind. Joyce, we're going to come over here, and again, this, this HP camera has a very big viewfinder. It's got a two-inch viewfinder. It's got, you put your wrist, guard, wrist mm -hmm. strap on, back up a little bit. And a couple of things that you're going to do is you're setting up. You're going to try to just compose. Again, think about the quadrants. Watch what's going on behind their heads. Okay. All right, your strobe is all set. Are you're we in? Just, you are certainly in. Well, until and I take over. I'm <laughs> okay, go ahead, I've got it. Okay. And, and Joyce said she doesn't. Oh, oh that's great. I was talking. You have to tell us. <laughs> yeah, let's get. We'll get. We'll get the. We'll count a thing. We'll go. Okay. We'll count on three. We're, Ready? We're Ready? Set. One, two, three. All right. Good Thank snack. You. Can good. I take you home good. with me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, everyone in the audience gets one of these cameras. Oh. Are we going to see the picture? Oh, oh look. That's fabulous. All our heads are there. Um, the, the color looks really pretty. You see the nice cupboard on one side. That's a beautiful composition. I pay attention to what's going on in the edges. But then assume that you can take a little bit off. If you, it's better to leave a little too much than not enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's fabulous. So really, listen to what Bill has to say. He is the expert. I listen. I watch. And uh, coming up next, Patty LaBelle is going to sing for us a very special tribute to Luther Vandross. And later, a good thing that you can use for your Thanksgiving table. The Grammy, the Oscar, the concert. She's just amazing. Friday on Martha, Carly Simon and her kids perform an all-time classic hit. How great for the upcoming holidays. This is very good to cook by. <laughs> then Martha and Carly perform an all-time classic craft. Find out what it is. Plus, Carly, what's your favorite place in LA? Guess what? You or Michael Wright is there. I am the luckiest man alive. Yes. <laughs> Tour Hollywood's hottest spots. Friday on Martha. From the CD, so amazing, an all-star tribute to Luther Vandross, here is Patti LaBelle singing Here and Now.
Fantastic. Um, Luther was a great guy. Uh, thank you so much for being Ooh. here, Patty. Thank you. Miss Mary Ida Vandross is my The So Amazing TV is in stores now. Next, I'm going to show you a good thing that you won't want to miss. We'll be right back. <laughs> Now, Martha Stewart's best ideas come to DVD with classic Thanksgiving, homemade holidays, and favorite family dinners, plus fun extras. Martha Stewart on DVD. Welcome back, and here is a good thing for your holiday table. Uh, nut votives, we call them. They're easy to make. Take a beautiful pillar candle like this, and you probably have some containers like this that flowers came in. Just put the candle right in the center, and then fill in around the candle with whole nuts in their shells, filberts or chestnuts or pecans or walnuts. And you can just keep them there for quite a long time. But if you want to use the nuts, of course, you can take them out and use them. And once you light your candle, they look just like that. Nut votives, they're a very good thing. If you missed Contra Day the first time, be sure to watch tomorrow. Have a great Thanksgiving.